So in this video I'm going to show you how to harden Firefox. Alright, let's start. So first you want to go into About Preferences. And this is just basic user settings here. Alright, so first of all you want to go into Home and uh, probably, yeah, so remove everything from your home page. All of this pocket stuff, that's, you don't need that. Then search. I like to have my search bar here as well. Default search engine. No, I'm on Linux Mint, so Google isn't even an option here. But if Google is the default, I would recommend DuckDuckGo. Not even start page, that's still Google filter results. Search suggestions, uh, we don't need them. Alright, that's fine. Privacy and security. So standard is like basically nothing here. So we want to go straight to custom and go and remove all third party cookies. All the cookies will cause websites to break as you can see. All third party cookies will break all spyware websites which you don't want to go to anyway. So yeah, and also in all windows here. Uh, next Send websites that do not track signal, always do that. Cookies and site data, remove them after Firefox is closed. Logins and passwords, don't, don't save these because you would just want to package a, a password manager for these. History, never remember history. Uh, I won't restart it just yet. Well, actually, all right, never remember and restart. Back into, oh, let's just talk about preferences and privacy. Now in here, there's already 34 megabytes of uh, cache stored, so I'm gonna clear that. Uh, in here, address bar, so we disabled browsing history. Uh, now location. We want to disable this. So settings. Block request to access your location. Camera. Microphone. All right. Like that's just gonna that's just gonna be requests for them. So that's fine. Notifications, disable these. Autoplay, block audio and video. Block pop up windows, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Allow Firefox to send technical data, that's disabled by default, but if it's enabled, disable it obviously. Deceptive content and dangerous software, disable that because we don't know what they consider. Uh, dangerous software and content. This enable this and uh, HTTPS only mode enable it in all windows. All right, so that's about as far as the normie settings go. Uh, from here, we want to go to about uh, config. Now in here, we want to proceed. We know what we're doing here. And the first thing we want to do is disable telemetry. So, all right, so this is true, send that to false. Now, I'm just going to copy in all the rest of the settings here so I don't have to type them in. These will all be in the description. So, browser ping center telemetry disable. Browser tabs crash report. That's false. We want to keep that at false. DevTools onboarding telemetry, disable that. Well, actually, that's not. I um, want to add that here and set that to false. Next, toolkit telemetry. That is false, and we can't even set that to true, which is good. Telemetry server. Set that to an empty string and server owner, yeah, empty string. 
and server owner set that to an empty string as well because we disabled the server and finally toolkit telemetry unified that's false by default all right so now we want to disable pocket fully so pocket is the article so we get on the home page fully disable all of this so false and false here as well and extensions pocket enabled that's false and it should be false all right next we want to disable prefetching. Prefetching will connect to servers without user authentication. So we don't want that. It may speed things up a bit when you're loading websites, but uh, it's not worth it. The speed increase is minimal and the privacy risks are significant. Disable both of these, prefetch next as well. Now you're gonna want to disable JavaScript in PDF documents. So PDF enable scripting, set that to false. Next, harden the SSL preferences. So this set that to false and security require safe SSL no negotiation set that to true now we want to disable Firefox account features so obviously for privacy reasons you don't want to be logged into your account like that's just stupid so we may as well just disable all features for accounts so Firefox accounts enabled false now, geolocation, obviously we don't want that. Disable it. Disable notifications. So we disabled all this in the normie settings as well, but just completely remove it from the browser. That would be nice. So we want to disable WebRDC. Now, this will completely break any kind of um, real-time chat like zoom or microsoft teams on the browser but microsoft teams will already be broken by third-party cookies so media.peer connection enabled false you can always create a new browser profile if you do need to use something like zoom but uh, just avoid using it in the first place if you can obviously so WebGL, now WebGL can reveal information about your graphics card, but if you disable it, so set this to true, uh, you will break pretty much all complex browser games that require graphics. So next we want to resist browser fingerprinting. And we set resist fingerprinting to true here. Now, just in general, we set this to true and that will resist it. Next, we want to disable referrer headers. So, in here, we set this up, and by default, it's two. We want to set it to zero. Change cookie behaviors. Uh, this here added actually you know the new versions of Firefox have a, a different different way of handling cookies they kind of containerize them if you have an older version of Firefox set this to true but it's not even an option in the newer version so that's fine a privacy cookie lifetime policy though this will delete cookies after the after Firefox is closed so set that to true all right so next you want to go onto this website here deviceatlas.com and this will 
give you some user agent strings. Now you want to go down here and um, scroll down to MS Windows, yeah, desktop user agents, and Windows 10 based PC using Edge browser. Now what this will do is it will simulate that you are using Windows 10. So go back into about config and go into general user agent dot override. Now by default this option shouldn't exist at all. So should be like this. So you add a string, then you insert that string that you copied from this website here. And now take that, so that's saved. And now we're gonna install some Firefox extensions. So we're gonna install an extension called dblock origin here. And I already have it installed but we reload here, so we add this. Next, we want to add the decentralize like this. So, decentralize will essentially it will prevent tracking through free centralized content delivery. It prevents all of requests from reaching networks like Google. And it serves uh, local files instead of, well, asking Google for those files. So, common static files that are on websites like fonts, for example. And it also speeds it up a bit, so that's good. So we add this, so that's decentralized. Next, we want to have an add-on called I don't want cookies, or I don't care about cookies. And uh, this add-on will essentially will block like cookie requests, so automatically disable all cookies. Like it will select the most privacy-respecting options for cookies. And this is useful because for certain websites, they will ask for cookies, and if you have them removed, like we set it up. And here, uh, it will ask every time you visit that website, which can be really annoying. And this will get rid of that warning. Uh, now, next, we want to do, want to install an add-on called Privacy Redirect. Privacy Redirect will essentially replace common spyware filled websites with better alternatives. So you have uh, Knitter, which is instead of Twitter, Nvidia's, which is, which is instead of um, YouTube, Bibliogram, I'm not sure what that is actually, let's see. Oh, maybe that's just like Nvidia's, uh, not the DeviantArt. OpenStreetMaps, that's uh, Google Maps. Alternative Red, uh, Reddit is LibReddit. Search Engine, we don't actually need that. Well, let's keep it on. Uh, Simply Translate, that's Google Translate. Wikipedia, that's just a Wikipedia alternative. So in here, in the videos, this uh, sometimes it breaks, and because these instances always get taken down or something. So you want to set it to an instance that works. Now NVIDIA's is a YouTube alternative, so it's free and open source, you can even host one yourself on your own server. One that I found that works for me is YouTube.com, like spelled like this. YouTube.be, sorry. And it's hosted in France, so it's pretty close to me. And you know, it's fast, it doesn't get taken down, I've never seen it taken down. Set the theme here to dark as well, because why not? Alright, so that's decentralized. Uh, finally, you want to have a, a password manager. So, password manager, Bitwarden is pretty good. And there's also one called KeyPassXC. Hmm. 
Mm, both of these are good password managers, and this one will get file get your passwords from a local file, I believe. And uh, Bitwarden will be able to sync across devices, and this is also free and open source, so you can host it yourself on your own server, and that way your passwords will be extremely hard to compromise. I'm gonna add this to Firefox. And there we go, so you can just create an account or log in, or once again, host your own instance. And this will save all your passwords, so Firefox doesn't have to save them in its own memory. And you don't have to have a Firefox account to sync all your passwords across different devices. Now I like to remove these like default bookmarks, and for the bookmark toolbar I like to always show it. Now these aren't really privacy settings, but they're pretty good. And now your Firefox is completely hardened. We're gonna get redirected to NVIDIA's. If we try to go to Reddit, we're gonna get redirected to libreddit. And all of these are basically JavaScript-less and privacy-respecting alternatives to these common websites.